Beginning with a scene set in the darkness of night, the red and blue lights of police cars eliminate. This video captures authentic and dramatic moments of the patrolling police force. Join us as we explore the dangerous situations they face daily, stepping into the world where justice is endlessly enforced. On November 16, 2023, around 9 p.m., a black car swiftly accelerated ahead of a police vehicle and changed lanes without signaling. The police ultimately requested that the car pulled over for inspection. Exiting the vehicle, the police officer asked for the driver's documents. The driver claimed to have forgotten them and needed to call his wife. The suspect then accelerated at high speed and attempted to flee. The patrol officer re-entered their vehicle and initiated a pursuit. After reporting the police headquarters, the officer closely followed the suspect's vehicle, providing a real-time update on the changing lanes and changing routes. Upon assessing the situation and the suspect's reckless behavior, law enforcement decided to intervene. Despite the perilous circumstances, the driver remained defiant and continued to evade the arrest. Emergency services were also dispatched promptly. The suspect's vehicle headed towards the parking lot of a house, attempting to enter the premises, and law enforcement managed to apprehend the suspect, noting his apparent state of intoxication even during communication. The suspect was taken into custody and transported back to the police headquarters, facing serious charges. Around 8.27 p.m. on July 31, 2021, an officer patrolling southbound on Jonasbro Road noticed a black Chrysler 300 engaging in erratic maneuvers at the intersection of Jonasbro Road and Lakewood Avenue. The officer activated the lights intending to initiate a traffic stop and assess the situation. But the driver accelerated, initiating a pursuit. The driver continued an extremely high speed southbound on Jonasbro Road, posing a significant risk to other motorists. I immediately reported the pursuit to the GSP Broadcasting Office, and the TFC Caroling also presented the scene, began managing traffic intersections to assist in the pursuit. The driver recklessly maneuvered through various city streets. No, 
Upon colliding with the curb, the right rear tire burst, but the driver persisted in fleeing. Despite losing a wheel, they continued at a high speed, yelling colliding with multiple vehicles. And anticipating an unclear intersection ahead, the officer decided to perform a forceful pit maneuver to ensure safety. This action spun the vehicle clockwise, causing it to slide on the road and avoiding the intersection. The driver and a passenger fled from the vehicle. The police pursued the driver briefly, attempting to use a taser to stop the flea. However, both taser attempts were unsuccessful and the driver continued into a grassy area. The driver was transported to Atlanta Medical Center and later to Fulton County Jail for further legal proceedings. This incident occurred on the evening of January 15, 2023, when the Kansas State Police Patrol received a report about a reckless driver on the road. The driver appeared to be impaired, and upon encountering the police, the daring vehicle attempted to flee. However, the vehicle swerved dangerously, making it difficult to determine its direction. As the police closed in, a woman sitting in the driver's seat immediately took off running. Oh, wow, she's incredibly attractive. But would she fancy someone like her? I'm sure I wouldn't. It's quite embarrassing when she tries to flee wearing such provocative outfit. Stop. Despite her alluring appearance, she insisted she hadn't violated any laws while the police detected a strong smell of alcohol on her. On March 31, 2023, Highway Patrol officers engaged in a daring pursuit after receiving a report about a stolen vehicle traveling from Charlotte County to Lee County, Florida. According to the information from the Florida Highway Patrol, the incident began with a report of a stolen Ford Edge SUV heading south on Interstate 75 from Charlotte County. The police received the alert and quickly identified the vehicle's location on the highway. At mile marker 143, Bayshore Drive in Lee County, the police attempted to stop the driver, identified as a 22-year-old Michael Andrade from Port Charlotte. However, Andrade refused to stop and continued driving south, initiating a high-speed chase.
During the pursuit, several patrol cars joined in, and the suspect, fleeing on the highway, lost control and collided on the road. Fortunately, no injuries were reported in this incident. Andrea was subsequently arrested and taken to the Lee County Jail, where he faces multiple charges, including order theft, eluding possessions and firearm by a convicted felon, resisting without violence and reckless driving, and driving, of course, without a valid license. After inspection, the police discovered that the vehicle in front had an expired registration. The police issued a warning instructing the driver to stop. However, instead of stopping, the vehicle began to accelerate and fled. Observing several suspicious elements about the vehicle, the police promptly initiated a pursuit. However, the chase did not last long before the vehicle unexpectedly lost control and collided with the roadside barrier. The police promptly removed the driver from the vehicle without any intervening actions being taken. A subsequent search revealed a bag of green powder substance to the subject being marijuana in a black nylon bag. In pain from the self-inflicted collision, the driver had to seek assistance from the police and subsequently he was quickly taken to an ambulance and transported to the hospital. After stabilizing his health, he will face legal consequences for his actions. The incident occurred around 11 a.m. on Friday, December 10th on the southbound lanes of Interstate 35, just north of Fairbrill, south of the Twin Cities. And according to the reports from the Minnesota State Patrol, a collision involving seven vehicles occurred, including five passenger cars and two pickup trucks, one of which lost control and jackknife. The southbound lanes had to be closed for approximately two hours before one lane was reopened. Were closed for approximately two hours before one lane. It is not worthy that, despite the traffic disruption for extended periods, there were no reported injuries following this accident.
On April 10, 2022, while conducting routine patrol on highway, the patrol police received a distress call regarding a pursuit of wanted criminal running on the road near the officer's patrol location. And immediately a pursuit was swiftly pulled. The suspect vehicle was fleeing through a stretch of field, leaving a trail of dust in its way. The police were trying to catch up at a high speed, and the suspect's vehicle, in panic, veered into the field and returned to the road shortly after. Intervention attempts were made, but were unsuccessful at the suspect evade skillfully. However, the coordinated efforts of the team cut off the fleeing suspect. The pursuit concluded swiftly without any injury. And on inspection, the bag containing a quantity of white powder was discovered in a small trunk beside the driver's seat, suspected to be narcotic. The powder sample was collected and preserved for further investigation. A highly effective day in suppressing street crime, thanks to the courageous officers who continually safeguard the lives of the community. A Honda vehicle was speeding, prompting the Georgian State Police to immediately execute a pit maneuver because that ahead was a highway with a considerable number of moving vehicles. The pit maneuver caused the suspect car to almost leapt off the ground and the driver resisted staying inside the vehicle despite request to exit. There were two men in the car, one was the driver and the other was the passenger, and both eventually stepped out of the vehicle, but vehemently resisted when being subdued by the police. Fortunately, no one was injured during this daring act of law enforcement. It took quite some time to handcuff both suspects.
A cargo truck, after fleeing a checkpoint, became the subject of a police pursuit. The driver of the truck was identified and losing control on the road. And despite approaching and requesting the driver to stop, he continued to flee. Although the speed of the chase was an eye, intervening with such a large truck required the police officers to make precise judgment. After intervening at the rear left section, the truck spun but returned to the highway and continued fleeing. The police intervened two more times than in the same location, but the driver remained audacious. After proceeding for about 10 miles, the police decided to execute the next intervention, and this time the officer adjusted the force and applied perfect technique. The truck spun in circle and veered off the road. However, the driver's audacity might render us powerless, but the police didn't overlook it. Not allowing the suspect to escape, another pit maneuver was executed. The suspect could no longer flee. The truck crossed the small ditch and came to a halt after colliding with a tree. The driver reeked of alcohol and was promptly arrested. His reckless behavior posed a danger to vehicles on the road, and the presence of patrol police ensures that these criminal actions do not go unpunished. Around 8.04 a.m. on December 10, 2023, at FH B trooper heading south on US Highway 1 at mile marker 36 unexpectedly witnessed the grey Chevrolet Suburban moving at a high speed northbound on a southbound lane. Exhibiting reckless driving behavior, the police immediately requested the vehicle to stop, but it continued to run at an alarming speed.
the driver engaged in dangerous maneuvers, disregarding all other vehicles on the road. And recognizing his danger, the patrol police appeared in front of two sisters. The flexible coordination among the team members accelerated the pursuit to its conclusion. All three vehicles of the patrol team quickly joined the case. The pursuit vehicle, after colliding with an oncoming vehicle, veered into an adjacent lane and facing the pipes of a nearby construction site and immediately emitted smoke. The police swiftly controlled the suspect and subsequently he was charged with multiple offenses, including reckless driving, causing property damage, fleeing without regard for the safety of people and property. The driver identified A Kansas State Police Team A engaged in a pursuit for a stolen white vehicle. The police are closely following the pursued vehicle. The pre pursuit concludes that the vehicle goes through all of the streets and crashes into a tree behind a residential property. The suspect leaves the vehicle and the police approach the inspect, discovering that there is no one inside the car. Stolen vehicle, White Ranger over. He ran into a backyard over here over a chain link fence. An immediate report is made to the headquarters, continuing to confirm the identity of the man who stole the vehicle. Hey, uh, can you just turn my camera? The police engage in a routine road duties and regular vehicle inspections and unexpectedly receive the report of another fleeing driver with a firearm on board. Realizing the suspect's proximity, they swiftly joined the pursuit. After confirming the color and license plate of the suspect's vehicle, the police closed in. The suspect drove south towards Chicago, entering a densely populated residential area, making it challenging for law enforcement to approach. A notification signaled to the execution of a third intervention. A fellow officer advanced from behind and swiftly implementing the maneuver. Although the driver attempted to flee, they were apprehended shortly after. Go, go. What the fuck did I do, bro? 
How's it change? Get up, step up, sir. I take him. A search of the vehicle's uncovered a firearm, and the suspect was promptly taken to the police station to face charges for the violation. At around 7pm on December 28, 2023. In the waning days of the year, Arkansas State Police were conducting patrol when they received the distress call to join the pursuit of a fleeing suspect. So why... After identifying the vehicle and its direction, the police officer swiftly pinpointed the suspect's car. Upon hearing the police siren, the suspect accelerated in an attempt to escape. And with numerous vehicles on the road, it poses a significant obstacle to its pursuit. Closing in and executing a successful pit maneuver, the officer quickly brought the fleeing suspect to a halt. The patrol team arrived promptly and made a successful arrest without any injuries in this situation. A red car parked in front of the convenience store was flagged for administrative inspection. However, the driver quickly fled upon noticing the police car behind. Law enforcement promptly assessed the situation and initiated a pursuit. The alarm bled, but the fleeing vehicle did it accelerate effectively allowing the police to approach easily. A successful pit intervention was executed, bringing the car to a stop on the roadside. The man bolted from the vehicle, leaving his girlfriend inside. The woman remained remarkably composed as she exited the car and returned to the driver's seat. The man was swiftly unbranded. Subsequent checks revealed that the car was unregistered and the man lacked a driver's license. <laughs> Thank you.
A report came in about a stolen SUV fleeing at high speed, and upon receiving the information, the police promptly initiated the pursuit from behind. The blue vehicle accelerated upon realizing it had been detected and reaching a current speed of 90 miles per hour on a road filled with moving vehicles. After joining the pursuit and recognizing the driver's lack of intention to stop, the police decided to intervene tactically and at the first opportunity. The fleeing vehicle continued even when the signal lights were still red, and perhaps the suspects were a professional rider as they maintained the lead, navigating through the dangerous route, underestimating the professional driving skills of the pursuing force. The police executed a pit maneuver from behind, causing the vehicle to spin. Rescue teams were quick to arrive and the officer's vehicle, after colliding with the suspect's car, sustained damages to the front mud guard. The pursuit became extremely perilous as multiple police cars joined. And the suspect's vehicle upon entering at a gas station was effectively blocked by four police vehicles. The suspect was swiftly handcuffed and the vehicle was towed to the police station. Naturally, they would have had to face the consequences for their actions. At approximately 11 a.m. on December 12, December 2023, a Florida Highway Patrol FHP trooper engaged in the speed control duties on State Road 91, spotted a gray Hyundai Sonata moving at a sluggish 43 mile per hour in a 70 mile speed limit zone, occupying the inner lane. And after the vehicle passed the trooper, it accelerated to the normal highway speed and suddenly surged to 130 miles per hour. <laughs> Upon detecting suspicious signs from the driver, the officer patrol car activated his alarm, signaling the driver to stop. However, the driver persisted in speeding. and immediately reported was dispatched to the police headquarters. The police car continued pursuing northbound on JR Road, while the suspect continued moving in the opposite direction. Yeah, 
seizing the opportunity, the police vehicle swiftly closed in, forcing the suspect car into a roadside grass. <laughs> The driver was instructed to open the vehicle door and exit immediately. The suspect was identified as Jack Retailer Jr. and he had faced charges including reckless driving, traffic violations and exceeding the speed limit. Around 11 p.m. on December 30th, 2023, the patrol received a report that the Cross County Sheriff's Office was actively pursuing a danger dark colored passenger vehicle heading south on Highway 1 near Vandale at excessive speeds of 120 miles per hour. The suspect's vehicle spun clockwise and came to a stop in the middle of Highway 1. Jamarcus Barber, the rear seat passenger, fled across an open field to the east road and through an empty lot east of 4744 North Highway 1. Upon returning to the suspect's vehicle, it was searched, revealing approximately 30 grams of marijuana and two firearms, a Draco and a Sesame Shield. Neither of these firearms were reported stolen, and none of the occupants were charged with the felonies. The vehicle was towed by the Triple J, and seized marijuana was documented as evidence. On August 29, 2021, a patrol officer experienced a tense situation while stopped at the red traffic light that had just turned green at Peterman and Road and Peterman Circle. The violator continued through the parking lot at a low speed. By circling back at Pritaman Circle, even after the mammoth parking lot, he did not accelerate to join the pursuit. The violator then turned onto Pritaman Road and Pritaman Avenue, not stopping at the red light for two times. The patrol officer quickly noticed that the white Toyota Camry parked on the side of the road with the lights turned off at the intersection of Moore and Drive and Wimbledon Drive. The suspect was taken to the Grady Memorial Hospital and identified as the Moan Coral Smith, but as the rest warrant from outside Derby County, Smith was last the later transferred. Your Fulton County Jail. <laughs> the incident occurred on December 19, 2023, when a stolen car had been reported just moments earlier after confirming the vehicle's color and the license plate.
The police observed the car moving at a high speed on the highway and determined not to let the suspect escape. The police activated the sirens and repeatedly demanded the vehicle to stop, but the perpetrator continued to flee recklessly. Releasing that there was no way to make the suspect stop, the patrol team decided to exit. execute a foot maneuver as soon as there was an opportunity to approach. Oh, it's a woman. What drove her to the so reckless? It turns out she had stolen the car just a few days before on Christmas, and perhaps she needs the car but didn't have enough money to buy one. It's crazy to think that stealing it would turn someone else's belongings into their own, and in the end, the gift she received was day facing jail. The patrol team quickly arrived at the scene the following an emergency call from local residents to a popular black car driving recklessly on the road. And as soon as the driver noticed the presence of the police, he swerved the car into a row of trees by the side of the road and continued to flee on foot, leaving the vehicle behind. The police initiated a foot pursuit with the suspect. He attempted to escape into the residential area and intended recipient, but was apprehended before he could be hiding. Who you are? Spell my name, Solon. Spell us U L L I V A N. 
On September 15, 2022, Miami Dade police officers spotted a white Honda Civic traveling north on the Florida Turnpike in Miami Dade County near Bird Road. The vehicle had been reported stolen and marked as a primary asset in a commission of illicit property offenses. When the MDPD personnel attempted to halt the vehicle, it accelerated, initiating a pursuit. The chase quickly transitioned to the Florida Highway Patrol as it approached the state 836. The dairy driver dangerously swerved into oncoming traffic, crossing the median hack and the main lane and continued to flee at high speed with numerous vehicles on the road. The pursuit became challenging with the potential of unpredictable collision to the high speed. Rescue units were deployed and joined the pursuit while the police continued to approach the vehicle, preparing for intervention. However, the situation took a turn when the suspect abruptly turned left into a parking lot of the factory and three suspects in the car fled, including the identified driver as the 19-year-old Channing Howard, who was apprehended and faced multiple charges. The other two suspects were made at large after the dramatic and intense pursuit. The Georgia State Traffic Patrol was conducting a statewide road patrol and identified an Audi exceeding the speed limit. As the police approached for inspection, the driver unexpectedly accelerated and fled. A dangerous high-speed pursuit unfolded in the night, with many vehicles on the road. Hey, 
And the police attempted a pit maneuver, but it was unsuccessful due to the narrow turns and the car quickly evaded. The vehicle continuously changed lanes and violated traffic rules throughout the chase. The successful pit maneuver occurred when the car entered a narrow road. The police decided to make a high-speed chase contact from behind, causing the car to spin on the road. The suspect then opened a car door and attempted to escape, and with relentless effort and determination, the suspect was apprehended not far from the scene. The suspected stolen vehicle was taken to the police headquarters, and the suspect faced various charges. The police executed their mission excellently and flawlessly this time. 33, 33, successful. 33, 33, I copy, successful. Then. 10 I copy, you the coordinating center of the Columbian County Sheriff's Office has just received a 911 call reporting a stolen drug. And the caller is a woman in Columbian County who states that she was sleeping in the back seat of the vehicle when it was suddenly stolen. The suspect is believed to be an unknown male and she has no idea where they might be heading. And the male driver shows no intention of letting the woman out of the vehicle. The woman can still occasionally maintain contact with 911 dispatch center and she has provided the GPS location of the vehicle and the patrol officers have received the information. A highly dramatic pursuit begins. The police force has laid spike strips on the road where the suspect is advancing. The vehicle then drives into the strip, hitting the steel wires set up by the police in the front. However, the suspect's vehicle still attempts to move at a high speed to evade the pursuit. And perhaps for that reason, the vehicle seems unable to make the previous high speed. The vehicle nearly loses control on the road, and the police cars coordinate smoothly and prepare for intervention. The first pit attempt is successful. The airbox in the suspect's vehicle deployed. 33, 33, I copy, successful then. Rescuing the woman in the vehicle is a priority now. The suspect is apprehended and immediately taken to the county jail. Keep your hands up! 
The woman is rescued without any injuries. On March 9, 2023, a Florida Highway Patrol FHP trooper patrolling an Interstate 295 noticed a silver car in the middle lane with illegally tinted windows. The FHP K19 attempted to have Catwell exit a car, but she refused and showed increasing anxiety. And when the trooper noticed her reaching into the bag behind the driver's seat, suspicion arose about the possibility of carrying a weapon. In these ten situations, Catwell quickly accelerated and started fleeing southbound on I-35. I-295. The pursuit began. The suspect's vehicle raced at high speeds through the various roads and suddenly entered into the parking lot of a factory. She initially stopped just ahead, but then continued moving and fled. The intervention caused the trunk of the suspect's car to pop open, but she still attempted to maneuver and escape into a nearby supermarket. However, she was apprehended shortly afterwards. and Gladwell was taken into custody and transported to the county jail. The police continued to conduct the search of Catwell's pursuit, discovering several bags of white powder substance, the suspects to be narcotics, and subsequently a bag was seized for further investigation. A car speeding on the highway, narrowly avoiding a collision with the patrolling police officer's vehicle. Immediately afterwards, the patrol officer pursues the preceding car and signals the driver to pull over for inspection. Instead of complying, the car accelerates and changes lanes and moves ahead of the police vehicle. The police from the patrol unit quickly arrive at the scene 
and the driver is instructed to exit the vehicle. A woman in the passenger seat is also detained. Both individuals are promptly arrested on various charges. With your left hand, pull up your shirt. Keep coming. Keep coming. Stop. Go to your knee. Cross your ankle. On Wednesday evening, November 1, 2023, around 9.07 p.m., the traffic patrol received a report at the Miller County Sheriff's Office about the Texar and Police Department, TAPD, pursuing a vehicle on Interstate 30, or I-30, eastbound around mile marker 5. At the time, the traffic patrol was at mile marker 15, heading east, As it approached mile marker 20, the vehicle switched from the left lane to the right and made a right turn and lost control. It veered off the interstate and entered a grassy shoulder before colliding with a tree. The police began collecting information and images of the crashed vehicle. The license plate was identified as TXRXV3409 and later a sergeant within the patrol took over the accident handling. The vehicle was then towed away and the driver was identified as Stephen Martin. <laughs> Through this video, we hope you will feel the dangers that police forces face daily and simultaneously recognize the value of their work in protecting the community. Thank you for always accompanying us on this journey and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continue enjoying the up and coming videos. We wish you a wonderful day, goodbye and see you again on November 16th. An officer patrolling southbound on Jonas Bro Road noticed a black Chrysler 300 engaging in erratic maneuvers at the intersection. This incident occurred on the evening of January 15, 2023, when the Kansas State Police Patrol received 